I had the privilege to see you on stage. In fact, it's a group because it's a group. My brother, my sister. Crazy Keys. Alongside Solly Bird. <laughs> My sister and I'm most, most, most excited to be part of this wonderful team. My brother, my sister. Now let's have a feel of music coming from Crazy Keys and Soli Bird. Now this one here, oh my God, is something that I truly love. Then when we return, we'll be having a beautiful conversation in the interim. Check it out and feel the sound. Yes. Hey, Francie. I'm so down. Of a crazy keys alongside Soli Bird. Ah. <laughs> when did the crazy man decide to meet with the bird? Tell me about it, my brethren, uh, crazy keys. Tell me when did this music Carl Roman start? Uh, well, it all started um, last year when we met at the German National Day. Okay. Uh, Wash was performing with Toshiyami Kwame, and I was also with Toshiyami Kwame because I used to work with him. So we met and we vibed and we decided to you know do some music exchange you know cultures and you know all that so yeah interesting so that was how it all started from no. last year yeah and this year you performed together yeah what has the romance been like uh yeah the musical romance yeah you know? the musical romance yeah, yeah that's it how has it been like <laughs> I'll let, I'll let it go for it. No, so. I want you to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been, it's been very, very interesting. Very, yeah. um, uh, had so many great experiences from it. From, from it. Uh, knowing that we are from two different backgrounds. Uh, and sometimes we had a little clash, you know. Uh, it, was, it was really nice. It was nice. A lot of experience. What was the experience like as in you had a sing with Ochami Kwame and then were you the one who made the move that I would like us to sing together? Uh, I think we made the move together. Together? Oh, yes. okay. We made them we, we made the move together. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so Soli Ben, tell me, is it the first time you are singing on a record? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Uh, I have a totally different background and this pop project is uh, the first of its nature for me. So yeah, on a record like this, it's the first time for me. Very first time. Um, did you feel like you were a musician before you put your voice on this record? Uh, yes, I did. I started singing when I was a child. Um, I did a classical uh, career when I was younger, so um, I always focused on classical singing until the age of, well, some 20s, where I decided to transition to gospel and from there to pop. So yes, I've been a singer all my life, but to, to be professional like this on an album with a professional super talent like Crazy Keys, yeah, this is a kind of a rebirth, yeah. Interesting. Now, sing me a German classical mm -hmm. for those of us who don't know what a classical mm -hmm. is. <laughs> 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 Okay, for instance, we have very beautiful German uh, old songs uh, and we would, sing, we would sing them like this. <coughs> Wenn ich ein Vöglein wär und auch zwei Flügel hätt, flög ich zu dir. Weil's aber nicht kann sein, weil's aber nicht kann sein, bleib ich all hier. Whoa, is that 
the kind of song they sing and somebody's holding something and yeah, raising his hands up and down? No, not really. It's an old uh, folk song, actually. So uh, the origin is to sing it around the fire altogether. But out of those old folk songs, there has been this artistical way of presenting them in a classical way. And yes, if you would see it in a concert version, you would have maybe a whole little orchestra with it and someone with a stick. And <laughs> wow, wow. What were you singing in the song? Uh, I was singing about a bird. Um, this is maybe also linked to my name. Okay. Um, it, it says, uh, if I was a bird, if I could fly where I want to fly, I would go everywhere. But as I'm not a bird, only my thoughts can be as a bird, free and not restricted by anybody and anything. Wow, this is deep. In life, do you feel that kind of thing? that you want to be free and move into every kind of space like that? Well, yes. Uh, my name, Francisca, means free, Franck, uh, France, Frankreich. Uh, it's all linked to freedom. Uh, and yes, I think one of the big searches in my life is for to feel your freedom the way you want to fill it with, uh, to find the style of living that you would really vibe with, to always overthink what you're just doing right now uh, in order to yeah fulfill your dreams. This is actually what I'm doing here in Ghana with Crazy Keys. Fulfill ah. my dream of a common album. Yeah. I'm going to return to you soon. Crazy Keys. Why Crazy Keys? Well, because he's crazy on the keys. <laughs> wow. Wow. I see. Okay, so you play <clears throat> keyboards, right? Yeah, so keyboard is my first instrument. Uh, okay, I wouldn't say my first instrument. Um, at the age of eight years, I was, uh, the first instrument I played was the drums and I moved to the percussion. And from the age of 13 years, I started playing the piano. And at the age of 18, I did it professionally with a lot of artists, uh, both in Ghana and outside as well. So I've been playing as a keyboard player and also music director. Yeah. Which, which, which popular Ghanaian artists have you played with? Uh, I've played with Jedouble Ambule. I've played with Chiame Kwame. I've played with Camido. Um, I've played with Patrick Duncan of Joyous Celebration from South Africa. Uh, many more, so many. So it's now time, I mean, for you to stay away and then um, concentrate on your solo project, right? Yeah. Interesting. All right, so this collaboration, where do you see it going in the next few years? Well, in the, in the next few years, uh, I see this, this collaboration really, really... Um, impacting the world a world yeah it's it's and <clears throat> the album excuse me the album itself is talking about you know it's it's, it's a journey throughout the world so yes ah take me into the studio what was working with solely bed like in the studio <laughs> honest <laughs> <clears throat> tell them the truth don't hide anything no i, I would tell them the truth <laughs> So it was, it was fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, very challenging. Uh. Since we are from two different backgrounds. Okay. Uh, her way of understanding things is things are different than how I understand things, especially musically. You know, um, we in Africa, we know we play by ear. And from where she comes from, it's all about reading the stuff. And I the, can relate. You know, I can relate. So yeah. sometimes there are certain songs. Oh, you want you want to chip in? Yeah, I mean, there's <laughs> examples. Like I ask him, so which note is it what, that I wow. should sing? And he said, I don't know. Just sing it. Wow. And I said, yeah, but I have to know if this tone is higher or deeper than the tone before. Wow. Just show me on the piano. And he said, no, just do it. And I said, if I don't just see it please. on just the piano, the I can't just do it by <laughs> ear. So that was just one of our examples. Yeah, it was was very challenging oh you know? my but, God. but at the end of the day we money to understand each other and um not speak the same language because music is is universal universal it's the same yeah, language. i mean i can relate to this i was in america five years ago and i went to the university of central missouri where i gave a lecture and we're supposed to have a concert and the music students came up they wanted to play the music and they asked me the same question <laughs> write the bass line for me. I said, <laughs> We don't write bass lines, just play the boom, 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 that's it, boom, 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 that's it, just do the thing. Give me the cards, give me the cards. Oh my God, and you will not believe that one of them wrote his final thesis on, uh, I mean, playing music by the ear. Mm -hmm. 
just because of our relationship so I can truly relate yes. to this thing that you are. It's, 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 it's very, and, and you know, this is some of the reasons why we wrote a song. We have a song on the album called Music Teacher. Yeah. And this song is talking about the fact that music is universal. Wherever you go in the world, you still hear the Remi Faso Latino. Yeah. And whether you understand the lyrics or not, or not. it will touch you because yeah. of the melodies inside and not because of the lyrics that you probably wouldn't understand. Yeah. How would Germans receive this music? Showtime, right? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, w most of my friends, they are very surprised um, to see um, some of the African vibes that I would expect. But then with a very international setup of uh, the songwriting. Uh, so most of my friends or people I talk to from Germany, they say, oh, there are some of the songs, like for instance, Gold, mm. we can really easily connect to it from second one on. And there's others like Sounds of Africa, they are like a movie to us. So when we hear it, we sit down, we stop what we are actually writing now doing because we have to listen to it because it's so dense it's so complex there's so much africa in it we love it we want to travel there can we come to ghana next year so the the reactions are very enthusiastic and uh, encouraging yeah oh nice reactions and the album is crazy just like crazy keys Showtime. my god and when you see them on stage they are like two love bears <laughs> <laughs> doing something <laughs> Um, are you going to take the music beyond just music and maybe are you guys going to marry one of these days? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that, no, actually no. No, definitely no. No, 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 no. Uh -uh, no. I'm, 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 I'm dating. You're dating? Yeah, Who I'm, are you dating? I'm careful. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I'm dating. <laughs> are, you dating are you dating a man or a woman? <clears throat> oh, a man. Oh, you're dating a man? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> Did I just say a man? Please, guys. This it was just a slip of tongue. Please, I'm dating a woman. Okay. Please, all right. Oh, all, right. Don't kill me. all right. I understand that. I understand that. Okay, so they are both dating. This one is dating, and that one too is dating. Yeah. Maybe they will undate whoever they are dating now and come together and date. Believe me. There Wait. have been too many fights in the studio for this. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. We, yeah, we are just, we are good with friendship. But we, we are like we, an old couple now. Yeah. We are over the lovebird phase. Yeah, See. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How would Germans receive you on stage playing together this music that you have released, Showtime? Um, how would they see us? Well, phew, I don't know. Um, probably they are very fascinated by our two very different presences also on stage. Like you are more the crazy guy, uh, <laughs> being totally absorbed by what you do. I'm more open to see the audience to interact with them maybe She's because I don't have an instrument to play while mm. I sing so I can focus more on the you crowd. You have an instrument to play. Yeah, sometimes. You play the piano. Yeah, but I mostly don't play the piano. I mostly just well, sing. Sometimes you do. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but beyond this, are you looking forward to releasing an album on your own as a solo project? Uh, well, of course, um, I would love to. I already started a project last year by my own and then I met Crazy Keys and I told him about my project. He told me about his project and then somehow it happened that we yeah, ended up together. Let's merge it. Yeah, so we still have to continue what we've done before. And I'm a very, um, I love poems and I would love to bring out an album next year, maybe uh, about my m most favorite poems, wow. but made, uh, made into songs. Mm. And yeah, I'm hoping for more support by my musical director and friend, Crazy Keys. Interesting, uh, very interesting. I mean, uh, talking about poets to a, po a, a, a poems to a poet. Uh, uh, this is what I've been doing all my life, poetry uh -huh. and all that. And in Ghana, poetry is not so much appreciated yeah. like some other countries do. But we pray that uh, a time will come when Ghanaians will gravitate towards more poetry. Yeah. When you go on stage and you are reciting a poem, people think that you're wasting their time. They've listened to too much uh, talking in the classroom and they don't want to come here and listen to another. They just want to dance and go away. How is it like in Germany? Poetry. Poetry is very, very famous, very widespread among people. Um, everyone has, not maybe not everyone, but a lot of people have their f uh, most favorite um, poet. Um, in school, it plays a very big role. Um, we all have to l learn long poems by heart. 
uh, if not we will get in trouble with our teachers so poetry has a quite a uh, big role in our educational backgrounds i'm going to ask a political question right now um, the people of israel today are they from germany oh there's a lot there's a lot who lived in germany who feel german who are german if, as they feel german yeah there's a lot so they are the people who move from germany to present-day israel sorry are they the people who move from present day uh, from germany to present day israel are they germans well i think they have to define themselves but historically how does germany relate to um, the people in israel well we have a very special uh, history with israel um and uh, as i also um yeah um have um a political um opinion um i would say that um germans and the, the german and the israel population they are linked by their history wow. if they want or not um and there's a very special friendship after many many uh, terrible years um and terrible years hitler and the holocaust exactly. right exactly this mm. is what i'm referring to mm. so yes it's a very very special relationship and it's also very very uh, delicate um, to to talk as a German for an Israeli person. So this is why I answered your question the way I did. I know I what did. you mean. But do Israelis see Germans as their friend, uh, looking at the Holocaust that happened and they had to move out, Hitler and the rest? Do they see Germ Germans as their friends? Well, there's a lot of uh, friendships uh, among the people, of course. There's a lot of Israelis who have family friends in Germany, and they would definitely say they can be friends of a German. But there's definitely also generations of people who have experienced so, so horrible things in their pasts, in the past of their parents, that they would probably say, no, if I can choose my friends, I would definitely not choose a German. And I mean, we have to be tolerant about this. I understand that. Finally, I mean, how do Germans see Hitler? Oh. Is I, he a hero? <laughs> at all, at all. We are very, very uh, happy to have overcome this, uh, one of our most blackest chapters of history wow. with him. Yeah. I would like to thank you so much for coming on the show. We do appreciate you and we do love you. If you have final words to say in just about, I mean, 10 seconds each, please go ahead. Uh, we would just like to ask our fans and <clears throat> to just, uh, we just want to thank our fans who are following, who are supporting us. And also, please, if you haven't heard the Showtime album, please go and stream it. It's on all the music platforms called Showtime by Crazy Keys and the Soli Bird. Soli Bird. Yeah. All right, Soli Bird, last messages. Well, if you are curious, if you love good entertainment, if you love to dream, if you love to cry but be happy again afterwards, listen to our album. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you I so appreciate much for having you. us. Yes, <laughs> and I want to say thank you. And this one is called Mr. Funky. I love the album. Catch me again tomorrow between 10 and 2. And just like time when I woke up again. Job bless, no less, no stress. My name is Black Rasta. Good afternoon to you. Or Chiami Kwame, wherever you are. And of course, to the ambassador. From Germany to Ghana. One Daniel. I just want you to. My name is Black Rasta. And here we are. Giovanni Caleb is up next. And of course, he is produced by Mr. Massive. And the DJ. Ready to do the work is the man faculty. And to second time when I never up again, jobless. <laughs> Are you ready to change your life with Verna Mineral Water? Then catch the 3FM Drive team as your coolest duo 